Got him? Yep. Let me. I'm gonna try to swing him in fast. Oh my gosh. Back to back on this jig. Oh wow, I'm holding it. That is like probably the biggest snapper I've ever seen. I was telling Oh, you want a picture of my fish? I mean, technically. We ended off the day with two cobia and three red snapper here in Venice, Louisiana. And then I want to do a catch and cook video for you guys. <laughs> back to my channel I'm Jackie Shea in case you're new here what's up if you uh, watch my previous video my last video I promised you guys a catch and cook with cobia if you haven't seen that video click up here somewhere or you can check the description box below for the link to that video if you want to watch the full day of fishing and the catching of the cobia and the red snapper we got we had an epic day of fishing it was a uh, it's a really good video and today is the promised cooking portion of the video which i've got everything out here ready to go and i'm really kind of nervous to do this because i've never made this recipe before but it is a recipe from my friends at ljk outdoors they have a whole website with a bunch of recipes and stuff on it, which I'll put the link for that in the description box below too if you want to go check out all their good recipes and stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got this new thing for my camera, so it's actually a little funny. Yes, so today is the day where I'm doing the catch, the cooking part portion of the catch and cook video for you guys. And the other problem is <laughs> that was a few weeks ago. That uh, day of fishing was a few weeks ago. Today is December, oh my god, what is today? January 27th, 2020, and that day of fishing was back in, uh, I want to say December, but I would have to double check with you, but anyway, it was a few weeks ago, so since that time, um, we've had the fish in the freezer, and Lewis has been here in Venice, and I've been home in Florida. And he gave away all of our cobia meat and all of our red snapper meat. So it's fine. I'm gonna just, this recipe is made for cobia. It's pan fried cobia with balsamic blackberry sauce. It sounds amazing. But today I'm gonna have to be using some triple tail <laughs> since I don't have cobia. So I apologize. Uh, you can definitely use cobia for this recipe. In fact, let me let you know now it calls for 16 ounces of fish. I'm only using, I'm not using a full 16 ounces here because I'm not making food for that many people. So I'm sure you can use however much fish you want and just reduce the portions of, or the measurements of the other ingredients to make the sauce and stuff. Yeah, so there's that. I'm not using cobia today. I'm using triple tail and I just wanted to be honest with you guys and let you know that my cobia is gone. All of it's gone, which is cool too. You know, we like to share with our friends and stuff because I get uh, asked a lot if I sell the fish, what do I do with it? Do I eat it all? Um, yeah, we eat it, we give it away to friends and family, or we'll like trade it for um, things, you know, if someone wants to come over and help us do something, we say, here, take some fish, thanks for helping us out, stuff like that. So, there's that, triple tail, not cobia, and what else did I want to mention to you guys? I did, I'm doing a catch and cook video, but the catching part is separate from the cooking part. I want to know in the comments below if you guys want the catch and the cook together in one video, or if you like the cooking part separate from the catching part. Let me know in the comments below what you like better, because sometimes I feel like I end up doing that because I have enough footage for two videos, because I don't want my videos to be too long. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's something I wanted to ask you guys. I've got all of my ingredients laid out here. If you are following along with me or if you want to make this recipe, I'm going to put the description, the recipe in the description box below. So you can just go straight to that and screenshot it or whatever. Or you can go to the LJK Outdoors website and print it off from there if you want. Um, that's what I ended up doing. I have it all printed here. <laughs> and I'd really like to say thank you to LJK Outdoors for 
giving me this recipe. They um, are really cool and they love sharing their recipes with me because they catch a lot of cobia. They have a ton of good recipes that I want to try on their website, so be sure to check that out. And let's get started. Okay, let's do this. I'm ready. So I've got two pans here. You're gonna have, you're making a sauce and you're making the fish. So one pan is for the sauce, one pan is for the sauce, and one pan is for the fish. I've got my flour, which I actually bought this fish fry from the store that we went to. Uh, it looks pretty good. I thought that would be good for this recipe. I've got the brown sugar, lemon juice, some blackberries, balsamic vinegar, red pepper flakes, salt and pepper, of course, and then tasty looking triple tail, beautiful. And I'm not making it for like a bunch of people, just me and Lewis here, so that's all I'm gonna be making. Okay, so I have a cup of fresh blackberries. I'm gonna put, oh my God, it's way too hot. Two tablespoons of this. That's about a tablespoon, right? There we go. I'm just eyeballing everything today. That's about a teaspoon. Lemon <laughs> juice. I've never made a sauce with berries, like a hot sauce with berries before. So this is very um, different and new for me. Sea salt to taste. I like salt. It looks like it's gonna be really good though. This skillet up for a medium heat, and then it says, season the fish well with salt and black pepper, okay. Too much, just like that. So I, I'm done with the blackberry sauce. I think I put that on for like a good five minutes. It smells really good. The black, I smell the berries like heating up in the pan. It smells really good. So I feel like that's kind of how you know like they're done is if they smell really good, you don't want them to like start burning. It's really important. So now I got my fish ready. It's lightly floured, very lightly, like I said. And I got the oil heating up in my pan right here. And I'm just gonna Sear it in the pan. Ooh. I'm scared to do this oil. Burnt the berries. Why did it burn the berries? Putting a timer on my phone, just so I make sure it's right. Do you little talk again, tell them what you just did. This looks good at this angle. The berries are on a low heat, just staying warm. I'm just keeping them warm. This, I got three minutes on my timer on my phone. I got three minutes on each side for the fish. And of course that depends on the thickness of the fish. It's really important if you have like a thick, chunky piece of fish. You're probably gonna want it on there a little longer. If it's thinner, you're gonna want it on there a little bit less. Um, but I think this is a, about a good three minutes thickness, maybe a little more. It's kind of thick. And what what does it say? Let's, let's read the directions and see, make sure we're not doing anything wrong. Do not move the fish until it's time to flip it. That's important. And you don't want to crowd the pan with the, with the fish. They say that too. I don't know why, but that's what they say. So I'm gonna listen to the directions. So that you'll end up with a nice texture. Oh, we gotta flip it. Okay. That looks good. 
I think it's gonna need more time though. You can see it all raw on the inside right there. What do you think, babe? Looks good. Smelling better now. Yeah. I feel like you're not a fan of the berries. Yeah. I don't usually I don't like need no things. Fruit. Yeah, I don't usually either, but I'm gonna try it. And we don't have any sides. <laughs> you don't need sides. <laughs> you could probably do like potatoes or a vegetable on the side. We don't have sides today. <laughs> oh, fish is done, I think. I had it, I had flipped it back over on the other side for like another minute because it's such a thick piece of fish and I could see it was still a little bit translucent translucent on the inside, a little bit uh, raw looking. So I did another minute on the other side. I think it's pretty good now. Just took it off. I'm gonna let it, ooh, dropping things. I'm gonna let it dry out on a, on a paper towel here. And then my sauce is done. And that's it, that's it. That's my, why are you laughing? <laughs> Lewis isn't excited to eat the sauce. I don't know why he's laughing at me, but whatever. Sauce is done, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. It was pretty easy, simple, and quick, which is what I like. And I don't think it's too um, fattening either. It's pretty, it seems pretty healthy to me, which is another thing I like about recipes and cooking and eating things. I like healthy. I'm gonna serve this. Hey, babe. He's sharpening his knives. It's really loud. Can you stop for a second? <laughs> he don't want to stop sharp sharpening his knives. Not later. Babe, no, come here. I'm about to. We're about to eat. Come on, I'm sit cool. down. You have to try it. He's not gonna try my food. Fine. All right. Well, I guess I'll try by myself. Lewis is a very picky eater. He pretty much only eats his mom's food and his own food, or in Smoothie King and Fujihana. That's it. <laughs> Can you just try a bite? One bite? Yeah. All right, see? He'll try a bite. Do it for the video. How about you try? They, oh. That's who they want to see, try. Oh, that's really pretty. I wish we had prettier plates and stuff, you know? This is the finished pan fried cobia with balsamic blackberry sauce. Except we got triple tail today. But I hope you'll try this with cobia. I hope you catch big cobia and I hope you try it. Come here, come come look at it. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Full on berry and everything. All right. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's not bad. And it's good for you. I think it's good for you, yeah. Yeah, it has the berries in it. The only thing is the, the um, flour, which you don't even have to use, probably. I like it. It's really good. I think you should try it, babe. You don't it have looks, to. It really looks good, but I just don't like you don't have fish to and berry. berries. You, you, don't have to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to put the berry on it. Just put the sauce on it. It's really good. No, nah, it's fine. I mean, if you, you're really enjoying it, you know? Mmm. It's good. Babe, try it. There you have it, folks. Fish and berries. Fish. <laughs> you know. Fish and berries. Babe, just try it with the sauce. You don't have to do the berry. I think I'm, I'm alright. I'm getting you a fork. No, I'm not trying it. It's really good. I'm not trying it. Come on. Nope. Babe, come on, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't, I don't want to be on your video. I want you to come here. It does taste like a little bit like a sweet dessert at first, but then the like fried crispiness from the fish kicks in. It's really interesting. I like it. All right, so I'm going to finish eating the rest of this. It's delicious. I definitely want to try this again with cobia. I'm, uh, I really, I really enjoyed it. I've never had berries and fish before, and it's actually pretty good. It's better than you think. Let me know how you liked it in the comments below. I'd love to hear how you liked it. If you tried it. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really supports my videos, it supports my channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I'd love to have you here. I've got plenty of awesome videos coming out this year. And I will see you guys in my next video.